y'all, I totally forgot to take a video of me and my daughter. We went to Galaxy Con today. It was just so loud and so packed. Um, my brain just did anything. think. I recorded a few um, things that I cannot put on YouTube because of copyrights. It has been a very, very, very long day. It's almost 8 o'clock at night, and we just got home. I just put pajamas on. Um, it's Sunday. Um, and yesterday we discovered that um, the cat we call Boots, who's a Himalayan, turned out to not be a boy. It's a girl. And she has five kittens. Or four kittens. And, um, and I guess we kidnapped one of Taki's kittens and gave it to the, the shelter, um, like a rescue place because they were her kittens and she has four more and she, I guess she's had them up here this whole time. That's why we thought they died, but she had them hidden on the porch and I guess told them to be quiet, but now they've, she, Josh is down there with her, his babies. And yes, Josh is the father, and yes, we can hold all the kittens they let us. But no, we're not going to take them to the shelters because when, just in case, just in case they have anything, they test them and then they put them to sleep if they have feline leukemia or anything. And because of what's been here before, we don't want that happening. So we hope, since the bobcats are all gone permanently, we're hoping they'll just be fine. And we we'll just have a bunch of outside cats. That gets spoiled. Okay, I was gonna take video of the kittens, but I forgot just now. I'm exhausted. I am headed home. It is almost 9 p.m. Um, the camera always shows brighter than it is. I think it's like 8:40 something. Um, ready to go to bed, y'all. Ready to go to bed. So I did have like 50 something carbs today because I had four pieces of. Hawaiian bread. Um, they each have 12 or 13 or 15. It might have been 60. I don't know. But that's all I had. That with my deli meat. Um, no cheese. A uh, little mayonnaise. A little dupe mayonnaise. Um, made my daughter a sandwich too. Because I can have dupe mayonnaise with no problem. I can have certain homemade french fries with no problem. I can have, um, like I said, boar's head turkey or ham low sodium no problem and any kind of Hawaiian from the Hawaiian bread any of their line um, can't have other breads can't have fruits and vegetables other than like blackberries but they have to be fresh they can't be from a store I've learned um, can't have lettuces can't have spinach can't have anything like that the can't list is gigantic the only thing that I know for sure that doesn't make me sick is the list I gave you just now. So, I think it's my time. Alright, it is Monday. Late the 29th, I think. It is in the evening. I've done a lot of work today. It did rain this morning. I'm taking some meat down to my mom's house because um, it needs to be eaten tonight. And I was going to make it and try it. Um, like some ground... Um, turkey and some pork loin center cut but I am got to take Dino tomorrow really far from here like two hour drive there and back um so I don't want to get sick and it needs to be eaten so I'm taking it down to my mom so she can do what she wants with it um yeah I was on the phone with Samsung like three hours every day almost for like 11 days about the whole watch thing where the order in the box wasn't my watch and I'm so nervous because their only solution my solution was I don't care how much those stupid earbuds are and they're expensive I'll pay for them and keep them because I'm too afraid you're gonna lose them and not count them but uh no I have to return them um, and then once they get it, they're going to mark that's the wrong item in the box. But then they said they'll know, like, it'll be okay because they know to refund me my watch. Um, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. I asked for them to please give me, like, a printout explaining to the warehouse what was going on. But they won't do that. Um, so I'm going to write my own little note in there. Um, so I have to send them back. Which... That's pretty stupid, right? 
Um, they're not cheap at all. And I was willing to pay for it. Not even use a credit card. Just pay for the damn thing. Um, most companies would have been like, I am so sorry for your hassle. It is amazing that you just want to purchase these. And they would at least let me purchase them. Or give me them at a discount. But no, I was not even allowed to pay full price for them. Just so I wouldn't have to go through the hassle of, I had to go spend $57 because I didn't have ink for my printer. So I have to... I had to get ink for the printer, so it's costing me money, and I gotta drive to a place to drop it off, and that's costing gas money. You should've just let me buy the buds. Anyways, I'm whining. Hold on, let me get this to my mom. All right, I'm gonna show you what I've done today. I worked my little butt off. Let me show you what the thing did do. Okay, did good things and bad. My Oh my gosh, how did I forget the name of the tree all of a sudden? <sighs> Give me a second. Let me think. I know the name because I say it all the time. Well, my tree is way bigger than it was and full of bloom. Great, Myrtle. There we go. So is this one. Okay, so I came out here today. Everything was covered in blight, and there's still tons of blight I have not gotten to. Kind of gave up in this section because I had been out here for hours. So I got rid of mommy and came out to help at the end. I got rid of all the rotten tomatoes out because there were tons and tons of very smushy, smelly, and I'll show you the pal. Um, still, like I said, I only got some of the blight out of this box. Um, because I think I really just need to pull the spots, all of them. See my big giant pile over here? Of hundreds of tomatoes that split and went rotten. There are hundreds in there, y'all. Like, I was freaked out. Dad's going to carry it away. But I came through, and I have tried to cut 99% of the blight off. Yeah, those are bad. I got to pull those out, too. They fell earlier. Um, of out and tried to lift stuff up that had broke off um i had cut so much blight out of these ones all right and tons and tons of tomatoes came off as well um but they have so many blooms that i'm just gonna leave them right now i mean like i said these don't have blight as bad as all the others because they were completely suffocated all right, I'm worried that I'm going to get a lot of blight now that I unsuffocated this area with the broken ones. Um, but, oh, my mom forgot she wanted those. It's okay. Okay, but I did a lot of work. I should have showed you a before and after. But like I said, we have so many, so many buds still. We're not pulling these down. We're not pulling those down. Those are not bad enough to come down. These, these were all bad enough to come down. So, the rest of those got pulled today. Some of these got pulled, and that's my baking soda and water solution. I've gone around um, with this right here, and we just spray the leaves, trying to keep it from getting worse. And I have also gone around and um, cut a lot of the leaves off my cucumbers a lot of these came out today i did leave those two because i got most of the blight off and they have a lot going on still for buds and we'll see what happens um now my cucumber is gonna have plenty of room to spread out this one is my i sprayed it down but i'm 99 percent sure this one is gone y'all yeah, it's so yellow this one had so many issues in the beginning. I think it just can't go on anymore. I'm not sure if this one is gone or not yet. I sprayed this one down with the solution and I cut tons of leaves off today. And no, I don't use the same. This is for my brand new and I only use it on this plant right here. Um, I don't try to contaminate them. So we still have some cucumbers. I pulled a bunch today too. I have not gotten over here to work on the zucchinis and squashes, though. They need some help. This plant that was doing beautiful has taken a bad hit. Okay. She was gorgeous. 
but the rain has destroyed her. I cut so many leaves off and I've sprayed it, but the spraying, I've sprayed this one a lot and it's just, it's not helping. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to lose her as well. That one's a goner. I give up. Pretty sure the cucumber or the watermelons are all goners. The plant is just turning too much. So, and there's a lot. <clears throat> there is a lot. But, I don't think they're going to make it. We're leaving them. We're going to see. But I really don't think they're going to make it. I definitely duck cucumbers out of the dill. Because a lot of this is just seeds. Um, I got a lot of peppers. If I hadn't had all this rain, I would have had 200 plus tomatoes. Um, but it is what it is. Let me cook a melon. I had no clue when I planted the seeds that she would get this crazy. And I tried spreading her out and she went nuts over the rain the last two weeks. It is so thick in there. It is ridiculous. I didn't know it would do this. I didn't even know what type of plant it is. Like I just grew it for giggles because my daughter wanted it. It's supposed to be like a sour uh, cucumber or something for like making, I don't know. You can see them. See? teeny little cucumber so we will see there are hundreds and hundreds of them also my carrots are looking really pretty back there i gotta trim down my okra the bad leaves but the okra has done amazing they were worth every penny like i said you can tell <clears throat> the pepper plants i did not prune did not listen to any of the rules on not only is the plant completely gorgeous, they have given me the most bell peppers and the prettiest out of all of them and the healthiest. The rest of these have been crap and I followed the stupid little rules and look how crappy they look. Same plant, y'all. Same plant. We're finally getting some flowers on the green beans. So we might get green beans if the deers don't eat it. I think we can pull some collards this week I can cut some down and try cooking them my flowers have just done amazing they're gorgeous I love my flowers this bed has done really well um, banana peppers are amazing in this bed the what did not do well look at my basil in this bed bread bed y'all the basil is just gorgeous what has not done good is this one of the tomato plants because it seems that the dirt we got came with a nasty little vine. She has flowers, but she has gone insane and has pulled down this tomato plant and suffocated it. Um, and I don't know what it is, so I don't want to go pulling at it today. Um, but yeah took out one of the tomato plants I really I should pull it off of this one at least I'm sure it's fine I've messed around with it multiple times the problem is it really really sticks and I don't want it like when I'm pulling it to hurt my tomato plant that is the problem here look at this stupid thing this is insane I would think this is cut zoo. Like, if you know what kutsu is, yeah, know what I'm talking about. Like, oh. Whoa. I want to pull my tomato plant. Holy crap, y'all. This is insane. I need something to cut it. My phone doesn't tell me. It takes me to Pinterest. It's supposed to have an AI in there to tell me what stuff is, but it doesn't work. All right. I need to go get something to cut it because it's just going to, I think, hurt my vine. I think it's going to, not my vine, but my tomato. Look at this stupid thing. All right, hold on. I cannot believe how many kittens there is right now. Y'all, I just got ate alive by mosquitoes. I'm headed in. I've only been out for like 20 minutes. I needed to get some air. It's like eight something. We just got home. We've been gone since 11. Took Dino to his appointment up on the other side of Raleigh. Went to um, 
South Streets of South Point. It's a big mall. Um, went to Costco. Y'all, yeah, mm -mm. Costco steaks and meat and chicken, all, all the fresh meats, all of them, cost more than going to the local butcher. And I thought the local butcher was expensive. Nope, Costco won. Costco won. I really didn't get nothing. I'll show you the only thing I got that I think is worth $17 because that's how much it costs. Hold on. Okay, so it's this set right here. I'll show you. Hold on. Alright, it's in my dirty dish seat because I gotta wash it. Look how pretty. Okay, we got the Lion King, Lady and the Tramp, Bambi, and my Tinkerbell. And they're good sizes. I like them. Oh, and this was worth $20. I wish I didn't buy anything um, from Walmart or anywhere else because I got a good scraper, different spatulas, like four-piece set plus these pieces. Y'all, these are $10 a piece at Walmart, and this whole set was only 20 Y'all, I know y'all do not like seeing it in the dark. Okay, I know. It is the 30th. I am so dead exhausted so dead um y'all this week is gonna be hellacious like every day has been major being away from the house 10 plus hours major two hour drive one way every day in a row almost i am so so wore out i hurt everywhere um my wrist hurts my feet hurt my legs hurt and I have to go again tomorrow. At least it's not that far. Tomorrow is the last day of the week of me going so far. Um, it's about an hour and something to the farm. And then it'll be around two something. And I drop Paley off afterwards to her little meetup group. And then do some grocery shopping. And then pick her up and come home. And then Thursday morning, I have my testing for ADHD, which I already know I have, but they want up-to-date testing. They said a lot has changed in 20-plus years, right? Like 30 years. I think it's been 30 years since I got tested. Um, I was in my early 20s, and I'm 46, so you do the math. Um, so they want newer tests, and it's one of many different tests they're going to be giving me, but this is one is for ADHD. Um, so that is Thursday morning, and then I think I have nothing until Monday is Haley's therapy appointment, or Tuesday, I don't know, one of those days. <sighs> I just want to collapse. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep. So exhausted. I don't even know when I'm going to put the videos together. I know it's pretty boring videos. If you want to know what I ate today, it was simple. Simple because I was afraid of getting sick. But I ate it anyways because here it was, 6 p.m. We had been gone all day long. I had only had one coffee. I couldn't even find um, pH balance water, which I thought I brought with me, and I didn't. I tried to have a Starbucks, had three sips, and started to have a reaction to it immediately. I sweat started pouring down my th face. I started getting extremely shaky and nauseous. Into the trash it went. Okay. It's a good day. It was BOGO day, so I didn't waste any money. Um... And so it's 6 p.m. and I hadn't had anything since early in the morning, So, which was my coffee. That was it. It was a long fasting day. I was really sick. I could tell my blood sugar was so low. Things were starting to get tunnel vision, very dark. Um, I was ringing in the ear, was getting shaky. So I'm like, okay, we got to try something. Um, and I could not find any safe, they don't sell Little Debbie's. Or anything that is safe that I do not have reactions to. Can't have chocolate, for one. So nothing with chocolate in it. Nothing with nut contaminations or nuts at all right now. Um, so I ended up scared. But I did it anyways. Because there was no way I could drive that hour and 15 minutes home. Um, being so sick. Um, I got me a slice of their cheese pizza. I ate it really slowly. 
Um, so on keto, I would do it and just eat the cheese. This time I put the cheese to the side and ate the cheese last and ate the bread first. Um, I'm not going to lie. It took me like 20 minutes to eat that slice of pizza because I was so terrified of having a reaction. But I had zero reaction. None, zip, nada. Um, I was perfectly, perfectly fine with it, um, which was like a miracle. And yes, that is all I had other than a half of a second coffee when I got home. I didn't, I'm so tired, I don't feel like drinking the rest of it. Um, so that is it. That is all I had. Okay. I don't know how many calories was in a small slice because these are smaller than I remember way smaller than I remember. A slice of Costco cheese pizza. No pepperoni. So whatever was in that, and I know for sure, because I haven't been putting butter in my coffee lately, and I haven't been doing the collagen lately because I'm trying everything um, to see what's affecting me. Like I do one tablespoon of butter instead of two or three. Um, and I don't do the heavy creams right now. Um, and like I said, I haven't been doing the collagens. So, I'm, now I want to look it up. Hold on. Just, I don't do calories in, calories out because they don't work for me, but a lot of people like knowing the calories in, calories out. So, give me a second. All right, I'm completely freaking in shock, in shock, in shock. Do y'all know that small slice of pizza, and I'm saying small, it doesn't even cover the plate at all anymore. Like, I've never seen them that small. Uh, it is saying they are 700 calories and 70 carbs. 70 carbs? I could have a freaking piece of pie for that. Like, couple pies. Like, I could have had, like, freaking five, at least five Hershey bars. What the hell? 70 carbs? I never would have thought that, and I never would have thought 700 calories for one slice of pizza. Okay. Everything I eat is usually at home, and like I said, it is the bread and deli meat, and I know exactly what my macros are every single day, but that was friggin' shocking. Now, the only other thing I had was a coffee that had um, about 100 calories, give or take, because I did a little less than a tablespoon um, of butter, which is 100 calories, and I didn't do one in the second one at all. Um, so it's still under 800 calories for the day, uh, and then 70 carbs for the day, but I don't usually go up to 70 carbs in a day. Okay, only if I have like two sandwiches and I've had the sandwich bread that are 30 a piece, that gets me to about 60. Um, but I'm in shock. I had no friggin' clue that one slice of Costco pizza was that unhealthy for you. I have not even eaten the topping of Costco pizza since the last time I was in Hawaii, which was January 2020. Um, so... Yeah, if calories in, calories out is something you need to watch because that's how your body works. I wish it was that simple for me. I'd be super skinny. Um, it can sneak up on you really fast, but I don't eat a lot. As you see, that's all I've eaten today, and I'm not hungry, and I'm not eating. I'm going to bed. Um, so that would be super easy for me to lose weight, but it's about hormone and insulin resistance for me, and calories in, calories out is just nothing for me. Like, I literally walked 14,000 steps today, and... Yeah, the scale's up right now again, probably because I was eating the deli meat. Deli meat makes me put on weight. It's so weird. Um, I did get, I'm not going to buy deli meat this week. I'm a little scared after the Listerio break to go buy. I get, it's not the deli meat. I normally buy a boar's head. It's like Liverworth and some other ones, but it's still kind of scary for me. So I just got Costco's oven roasted, no nitrate type turkey that you slice up yourself you carve it up yourself and I'm gonna try that and see if I can eat that with no problem and it's a lot cheaper y'all it equals about four dollars and something a pound and I've been paying seventeen dollars a pound for the boar's head so it would be worth the drive to go to Costco for me just for that one item because it I would could buy multiple ones at a time and save so much money 
so much, but we'll see if I can uh, work it out or not, like if my body reacts to it or not. I want to have an allergy test. <sighs> so in September, I have an allergy test, one that's going to take hours. It is one where they literally mark my body um, to make sure that my food allergies to chicken and everything is only because of mast cell and I haven't actually become allergic to these foods. So they are going to do a skin test and see what exactly, like, is it mast cell causing these reactions or have I actually developed a real allergy? Because if it's a real allergy, then you go about it a whole different way than if it's just mast cell. So, that is coming up too. But I'm going to bed now because I'm exhausted. I don't know what time it is. I know it's dark outside and I know I'm tired. Alright, it is 12 p.m. Um, I have to take my daughter in a little bit. So, I'm hoping this doesn't make me sick. It's the first time trying in a couple years. The tricky breast with no nitrates, no hormones, no nothing from Costco, the Kirkland brand. Oh, um, I've been doing good with Duke's mayonnaise and I've been eating it because I need more calories and fatted. Um, and then I have 30 carbs because I have two Hawaiian rolls. This is probably my only meal today. Um, but we'll call it the first meal of the day. It is Wednesday the 31st. And I'll let you know how it goes. I'm kind of nervous. All right, yes, I know I'm in the dark. It is Wednesday night. I am on my way to bed. I had to throw all my hand graders away because I was too lazy to get the one that, that Wendy and Harry have. Like, I own it. Um, I was too lazy to get it out to grade some cheese. Let's just say I used a hand one. And I managed to grade the whole top of my thumb off. Like, the whole, like, it's, I can't even show y'all. It's too dark in here. But the whole front part with the nail is, all the way down, got graded off a big amount. It took hours to stop pouring blood. Um, like, it wasn't like squirting, but, you know, like, it was actively bleeding a lot and I was going through a lot of paper towels <clears throat> um it's very painful very very stingy and painful um so yeah so my life is crazy busy right now I think I recorded what I ate this morning and that's all I've eaten and I've had one other coffee um and I'm just gonna do I'll try not to always do them in the dark but I'm just gonna do little clips here or there because I told y'all August is insane for me and tomorrow morning I have to go to bed because tomorrow morning I have an ADHD test. Um, but August is insane for me. That is why I said I'm not starting the hardcore worrying about losing weight until September because it is no joke when I tell you that there is appointments Monday through Fridays basically for the whole entire month of August. And we don't live by anything. Everything's far away. Um, so yeah, I'll make whatever videos I can. But um, my butt is going to sleep. If my finger lets me.